Now to the cold-blooded killing of a wife and mother on Detroit's west side. Tonight, police searching for the gunman who opened fire outside a neighborhood store. It happened just before 11 o'clock last night. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat spoke with the victim's husband and has the urgent plea from police as they search for a suspect. Family members describe Tracy Golden not only as a loving wife and mother, but also as a lifesaver who spent 10 years working here at Sinai Grace. Tragically, her life also came to an end here after she was shot, leaving a store. I don't care about the car. I want my wife back, which I can't get back. I was told that she was shot in the abdomen one time and Unfortunately, she didn't make it through. Too emotionally devastated to appear on camera, John Golden is expressing overwhelming grief over the shooting death of his loving wife, Tracy, his high school sweetheart. My rock, my heart, my everything, and everybody that knows her and knows me know how we felt about each other. He says last night he learned a gunman opened fire on Tracy as she left a nearby store on Grand River to buy pop and juice at about 1040 p.m. The killer also robbed Tracy and stole her vehicle as he fled the scene. No one word could describe her. She was amazing to everyone who she came in contact with. People, strangers on the street she wanted to help. Um, her job. Everyone at her job. Sister-in-law Janine Golden also in disbelief, losing a relative and close friend in Tracy. She says Tracy worked as a respiratory therapist here at Sinai Grace for a decade, where she made an impact on countless lives and also was a chief union steward. Something as simple as a car. And her life is gone now and so many people are destroyed. Detroit police do not have a detailed suspect description, but say the person is armed and dangerous, wearing a black jacket, gloves, and dark shoes. He was last seen driving Tracy's charcoal gray 2018 Dodge Journey with a license plate DYN1663. Police are also checking for surveillance video that could help lead to an arrest. She saved so many people's lives in the emergency room and to have hers taken so senselessly. It's ridiculous. Whoever this person is, it, it, it's, it's not going to go away. When you close your eyes, you're going to think about it. Come forward. Let me know. Better than come clean than get caught dirty. Police are asking for the public to come forward and contact them with any information that could help in this case. From Detroit's west side, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.